curious, when you're talking about issues like climate change and evolution, and you all know, the famous for, for your children's show, but when you're talking to adults and college students, how do you adapt your message and how do you find what really resonates with them? The message is pretty much the same. The vocabulary changed a little bit. The other thing that I talk to college audiences about is deniers, denialism, and how that is not in our best interest. And it's funded almost entirely by the fossil fuel industry, and I know we're here in coal country, and so on and so on. But it is, no, it is in no one's best interest. So I talk about a policy change that I strongly believe in, where we'd have a fee and dividend system for making carbon dioxide. We absolutely, no one can ever use the word tax. You can't say tax, those are evil. No, this would be a fee for people who make carbon dioxide and then that would uh, discourage the production of carbon dioxide and stimulate the uh, development of new technologies. And so you can show uh, pretty readily that we could get in the US, which is the world's highest energy use per capita. If you don't, ca yeah, highest energy use per capita. Uh, if we just got on it right now, we could be 80% renewable in just in less than two decades. The last 20% is hard, but still it's doable. And wouldn't it be good if the United States were the country that developed hydrogen powered uh, jet airplanes and the hydrogen were produced renewably? Wouldn't that be? So I don't talk to kids that much about those policy issues. But other than that, the message is about the same. The atmosphere is very thin. There's 7.3 billion people here.